Hi uh, YouTube and welcome to the second episode of Safe Base Designs here with your host Penalcast. So I would first like to thank everyone who have been helping me around the forums of Facepunch and Reddit to help me come up with some alterations to my design I discussed in the first video. In the last episode I already showed you my finished work so for today I will be building it along the way. So I'm making a new floor. This is actually the sixth floor in my building. I'm going to place the pillars here. Nice and neat. Um, I will place the pillars here too high because here I will build my next staircase to go to the next floor. I will place the staircase later on in this video. Pillars here around. Now for the walls, just wall off all the, the outside parts. I always start with the outside. If you want you can build a few windows in here but obviously this will add to the metal fragment count and it is also far less secure because if you put a loot crate in a place where there's also a window people can throw grenades in it and the splash damage will destroy your crate eventually and your loot will go away so that's not a safe ID so here you will see that the corridor style is coming up the areas I leave open will be placed doorways in later so you see the corridors there will be a doorway for the stairs also, when you're mass producing a structure, be sure to face uh, the doorways always the same side because the hinge of the door will always be on the same side so that you can easily move through your structure. You can check this by the small diagonal wooden piece in the bottom right corner of the doorway. For metal, it's on the top. And now place the loot crates. I always place them as far away as possible from the outer walls so people have a harder time of protecting you where your loot is. And it also makes it easier for yourself if you just place them consistently around the room so you don't have to walk to the other side of the room every time you can just easily check just every room a new loot crate you can also build large loot crates if you want but I usually spread it out so much and have so much floors that I don't really need the large crates it's just a way to waste of wood so why have I come up with this design because last design was very metal heavy so I figured well how can I make it the same effective but just with less resources needed so uh, the thing is uh, wooden walls now take two C4 instead of one so you don't have to build always metal doors you can make this corridor design and you know, that way use a, a lot less metal fragments and still achieve the same effect um, alright also you can also make the stairs there this will be the next floor I always place loot crates beneath my stairs as well just make make use of the of the room you have and last place the ceilings in I always build the same way that I can always add another floor later on so don't limit yourself by by building it in such a way that you can't make any uh, adjustments to your structure later on because eventually you will just get so many resources you want to do something with them you can of course build another base but I always like to build higher because I like one big base that's just me matter of preference like I said in the in the, in the start of this video um, I use a 4 by 3 surface and and this design alteration uh, uses actually six metal doors less than my last design so that's like 1200 metal fragments less that you can use on weapons armor or anything you like so it frees you up a lot of space for uh, other things you can build with your resources and that's pretty nice I think another thing people pointed out on the forums that you can use the the sleeping bag glitch, glitch which is a glitch which allows you to place sleeping bags through walls to get inside uh, bases but uh, I will not alter my design to glitches because I, I have faith in the producers and uh, that they will just eventually fix all the game bugs and I think it's cheating anyway it's an exploit and if you exploit you will get banned eventually so I will not alter my design so that uh, it can't be glitched course you have to still place in the metal doors but for the purpose of this video I will leave that out because I don't got the resources at the moment and I don't think it will add anything the last thing I wanted to show you today is the base designer tool by rusttools.com which is actually a pretty nice application to come up with your own designs um, I've also added a, a link in the description with uh, a code which you can uh, use to load my design I described today in this video so you can add to it or make alterations to it for yourself. Uh, be sure to check it out. It's really nice um, and get creative, guys. I hope you like this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Yes.
Filipino cast. Friendly, friendly. Please don't shoot. I just gathered a lot of food. I'm hungry, sir. Please let me live. Cast. Filipino cast.